Hello, my name is John Stewart and welcome to Schneer TV. Schneer TV is a series of product knowledge videos uh, and each one is designed to demonstrate a specific feature and benefit of a Schneer product. In this case, in this segment, we're going to talk about three-quarter inch engineered flooring. And three-quarter inch engineered flooring is designed to be installed in exactly the same applications as three-quarter inch solid flooring. And here we have samples of both. It's impossible from the surface to tell which is which, but this is solid and this is engineered. The advantages of engineered are it's just simply much more stable than solid wood, so you don't have the expansion and contraction issues, gaps in the winter, cupping in the summer. And unlike half-inch engineered flooring, it matches up with the section height for ceramic flooring, so there's no transitions in the house. The same heist, the same casing heights, the same ceramic height that's used for three-quarter inch solid wood can be used for three-quarter inch engineered wood. In this case, we have a 13-ply engineered product with a two millimeter wear layer, and we believe that this is the maximum stability available in the market, and that's why Givaldo, LM Givaldo, works so well in our dry Canadian climate. To demonstrate that, we have a little experiment. We've taken two pieces of flooring. It's hard to tell which one's engineered and which one's solid, but this is solid, and this is engineered, and we're gonna take one piece of each and place it in a Ziploc baggie. Then we're going to add four tablespoons of water. We're going to leave these two pieces in the bag over the weekend and on Monday we'll return and see the results. Welcome back to Schneer TV. It's now Monday and we'll do a comparison of the two halves that are in the Ziploc bag and the two halves that were left out. And again, this is to compare uh, what you would typically find in a very bad job site in, uh, in August, but it demonstrates the superior performance of engineered flooring. So if we open up this bag, first we'll take out the engineered piece and we'll compare it to the original piece that we uh, cut it from and you'll see that it is exactly the same size. You can see the green pattern there, uh, but this piece has expanded imperceptibly, even in these terribly wet conditions. The ply's intact, it's completely straight and flat, and when it dries out, it'll be as good as new. Now we'll compare the solid piece. And in this case, it's probably best that I just simply hold it up like this. You really can see the, the difference. And if you could multiply that by 60 boards or 40 boards or how many ever boards there are in any given installation, you can see that this would definitely be a problem. So how does this all work? This is how the Givaldo product is packaged. The product's manufactured at 7% moisture content and then the product is quickly packaged and wrapped in very heavy plastic. The pallets are also wrapped in heavy plastic. So that protects the product from picking up moisture during transit. The manufacturer recommends that you do not acclimate this floor. Rather, you try to get the job conditions to the proper settings and then you simply bring the material on site, open the bag and begin to install. And you can see from our experiment that even in a bad job site condition where you have very high humidity or, or the plywood flooring isn't perfectly dry, this product will perform much better than solid wood flooring in the same application. It makes even more sense when we start to talk about wide plank flooring. Because the 13 ply engineered construction is very stable, you won't have problems with gapping and cupping with these wide plank floors to the extent that you would have trouble with a solid product in this width. This is John Stewart for Schneer TV. Thanks for watching.